I've never seen anything like this. Two dead dogs down below. A picture of Satan himself up here. I don't think there's anything. Oh, something just attacked my ear. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Where are we going? Uh, Where are we? <laughs> we are currently are you heading sure this? towards Sila Marina. Are you sure this is a road? <laughs> yeah. We're trying to find a restaurant. <laughs> I mean, it said go through here, so. Bro, you should know better than to trust the GPS, okay. man. I think we should have turned left somewhere. All right, guys, starting this vlog off by being lost. Bro, there's no road here. There's no road here, Angelo. That's not what the GPS is saying. No, it says there's a, it says to turn left right here. <laughs> it's clearly there's tracks. Yeah. All right, all right, let's I mean, trust. If that's what it's saying, I guess we'll find out. Let's trust Angelo's. I'm not trusting me, I'm trusting Google right now. You're trusting Google. I think it's the new road, Alex. This, yeah, this has got to be it. All right, Sergeant family, we're in a town or a city area called Luparon. There's an abandoned resort that we're gonna film out here. I did this one two years ago. Angelo gave me this location like two years ago and I filmed it and I'm bringing him back here um, so he can film it too. So I'm gonna take you guys along on the adventure, but the main road is closed and we're actually trying to find a way through through this mountain right now. So Look at this. we're doing okay. I think it's good. Yeah. Oh, I see it. I see something. Yeah, because after this, there's a... Oh, it's a boat? What? <laughs> Wait, where are we? What the hell, dude? It's a boat graveyard. Abandoned boat. Dude. That's pretty cool. You're kidding me. We gotta explore this later. This looks really f cool. Dude, we just found an abandoned boat graveyard. Maybe this is somebody's property. It could be. Oh, shit. That's so cool. Yeah, this is a dead end, Angelo. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, if you just keep going through this fence. <laughs> dude, this is a dead end. What the hell? Oh, oh man. man. What a way to start off this vlog being lost out here in the middle of nowhere. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? Good, we got Alex with us today. And uh, look at this, we just found an abandoned boat graveyard as we got lost. So it was kind of meant to be to get lost here. This is probably somebody's property to be honest, but the GPS took us here. That's why you should never trust the GPS. Look at this, there's three boats. One here, one here, one here. That means we're close to where we want to go because where we're going, there's an, a big marina where they basically store ships during hurricanes and storms. Oh, look at this. Whoa, are these limes? Yo, check it out. Limes, lots of lime trees. Yeah. This boat here is called the Andrita. And this one, I wonder if there's anything in them. Let's, let's go into, oh, there's wasps in that one. Oh, I hate wasps. All right, Andrita, I'm about to conquer you. What's inside of you? Ooh. This is cool. It's like a houseboat kind of thing. Sailboat, houseboat. Nice. Hello, anyone dead in there? Oh, there's a bat in there and spiders. It's like clothes and stuff. Totally unexpected way to start off this video. Alrighty guys, we just got to the restaurant right next to, I don't know if you guys remember this, I did a video here a few years ago at that abandoned mansion, all the way up there. I didn't come here for that on this trip, I came here to film the abandoned resort, which we're gonna do it after we grab a, a bite to eat. It's uh, about two hours from where I live, so it was a long drive. We're hungry, we're thirsty, it's very hot. Aldo's actually gone back to Canada. Ah, oh, look at this. I wonder if they're building this new, or this is the resort we're filming and they're gonna renovate it. Because if so, then we're screwed. We drove all the way out here for nothing. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like it actually might be it. Uh, well, it shows a picture of it. Yeah, you're right, actually. This looks already finished. Yeah. Hmm. No, this is definitely just like a, a sketch or whatever. Bit of a cloudy day today, but it's so pretty. I'll check it out, guys. If you guys remember when I was here, I told you guys about this. I mean, this was about a two and a half years ago, maybe, the last time I was here. So this bay here, this is where people come and park their boats, basically when they come from different countries. And whenever there's a big hurricane or a storm, like a tropical storm, they bring their boats and yachts and they hide it in this bay because this bay is completely covered by mountains. So usually whenever they get big tropical storms, the bay here never gets affected because of the mountains. So yeah, this is like a, a safe haven for all the boats. <laughs> Where you going? It's a pretty horse. Look at that one. That's a pretty horse too. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Hello. There should be a third one. There was a third one earlier. 
Come here. Oh, she's actually listening to me? Come here. You got her attention now. Come here. She looks, uh... She looks pissed. I just want you to know that I just had a burger. It's taking a <laughs> shit. What the hell? Is it? I just had a burger and it's your cousin, Andrew. The yeah. funniest thing is that it was just taking a shit while it was staring at <laughs> right into your soul. <laughs> Come here. Oh, so okay. big. I never knew female cows had horns. I thought it was only a male thing. She's drinking beer! Holy sh! <laughs> She's got a presidente near her mouth. <laughs> Alright y'all, we just got to the famous Playa Luparol. Really beautiful beach area. The waters here are always great. Except for today. <laughs> it's actually a little bit wavy, but it's nice. But the sand here is different than where my area is. The sand here is way more white. And the water is way more blue. We're about four hours away from Haiti here, believe it or not. It's so pretty. The sand is so much whiter here. It's very corally. Yeah. But it's good for like snorkeling out here and swimming. Hello. Did you fall out of your tree? Oh, this poor birdie fell out of the tree just now. Yeah, I fell out of the tree. There's the mom up there. Oh, look at your baby. All right, so we're currently walking this abandoned beach. Believe it or not, it's an abandoned beach because there used to be a resort here. The resort's in there. It's not abandoned anymore. We're here. Exactly. There's a bunch of restaurants though on the beach, so it's like really loud. But we're about to go and start exploring again. I think I'm just probably going to make a vlog here because I've, I've already done a main channel video here. We'll see. I might do a main channel video. One thing's for sure is the sand is really bright. Really bright white. It's like hard to keep my eyes open out here. I'm definitely going for a swim after this, that's for sure. Alright guys, jumping into the day. We're going to swim now. We just finished filming this resort. We're going to go for a swim. The weather's getting bad, but we're still going to do it anyways. But I want to see if I can climb this coconut tree and get a coconut. Yeah, go ahead. Coconut for me, it's way too slippery. All right, so I'm gonna try to climb a mini one. Yeah, <laughs> let's let me see. Let me see. Wow, wow. Ah, you got it. You got it. No easy, Papa. Big one. Ah, you. One for me, one for you. We lost. We got a nice drink over there. <laughs> Angela went back to the car to get his swim shorts, and we got ourselves some coconuts. Wow, this beach is so pretty. They got wave blockers, so it's never wavy here. And when the sun is out, the sun's not out right now. It's so blue. Looks like the sun is going to crack out anytime, any minute now. So, in yesterday's vlog, I said yesterday was the last day that I was going to film abandoned out here because I just wanted to go to the beach every day and relax before I go home because I'm going home in three days. Three days by the time you guys have seen this vlog. But I just couldn't resist myself. I woke up today, I'm like, Angela, grab your stuff. Let's go film Luperon. I know you've always wanted to film it, so we did. And then today's officially our last day of doing abandoned explorations out here. We're just gonna vlog and show for the next three days before we fly back home. Ooh, oh yeah, that's nice. Beautiful water. And it's not even that cold. Love it. Hey, the sun is up! Woo! The fact that I just finished filming an abandoned resort right behind me and I'm swimming on the same beach is wild. Woo! Oh, this is nice. Wow.
yes, I miss the girls a lot, like a lot, a lot. But I'm mostly going to miss this. Being able to go to the ocean every day, it's great. <laughs> Once I get back to Canada, I'm probably going to hang out with the family for about two weeks before I start another road trip, except I'm doing my next road trip somewhere in Canada probably, and probably somewhere in the USA as well. And I'm excited about that because my friend Carlo's got some good locations saved up for me. So I miss filming stuff in the US. I got a lot planned for the summer. Got a lot of road trips with the family as well. I'm planning on taking the, the girls to Florida, spending some time out there, hanging out, take the kids to Disneyland and Universal and all that stuff. And uh, we got so much stuff that is coming. I was supposed to be going to Japan one week from now, so I would have gone back. Whoa! Where did that come from? That came out of nowhere. I was supposed to go to Japan one week from now, but that got put on hold and I actually had to cancel my ticket. Something happened business-wise. I just couldn't go. Didn't make sense for me to go and spend a month in Japan right now. Although I've never been there and I've always wanted to go, but that trip is put on hold for now. Hello! Hello. This is awesome! Yeah. How often do you get to film an abandoned resort and then go swim after? <laughs> it happens. It happens. In the Dom Here, anyway. It happens in the Dominican. Yeah. So pretty. We just need the sun to come back out. Ah! Jesus hmm. Christ. All right, excuse the hair. It's got out of the water. I'm having a bad hair day. Bucket list beach can be checked off my bucket list now. I've been wanting to come and swim at this beach for a long time since the first time I came here. And uh, when I first came here, it was super sunny. It was memorable. And it was very sunny today, too. We actually had some sunny breaks after, even when we were in the water. Great time. Now it's time to head back to Sasua. Yo, check it out, guys. We just found an abandoned house. I hear kids, though. I hope there's no kids inside. All right. Spider web. Yeah, there's a spider right there. I'm in the spider web too. Hello? Creepy looking house, you guys. I don't know how we're gonna get in either. Bro, I bet this mansion has a view of the bay. What the hell is that? I heard a loud bang. <gasps> Oh my god, dude, what the Spiders? fuck is that? No, come see this. Bro, oh, that's, that's like what is that? Bro, what the hell is that? I have never seen. It's a dead dog. Is it? I think so. Is that a dog? Bro, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, that was definitely a dog, dude. You think so? I thought it was like a pile of dirt. Oh, there's another one! No, Look! Oh my God. So this is the house of dead animals? What the hell? Ain't nobody gonna be in here, dude. This is a terrifying house. Back room, where? In here? Yeah. Bro, that was the weirdest looking dead dog I've ever seen in my life. No, there's no one here. It's just a bunch of showers. Dude, this house is terrifying. I bet we're gonna find more. There's nothing in here. There's like weird random bathrooms everywhere. It's like everywhere you turn, there's a bathroom. Oh, this is scary. Look at the way these vines are coming down. There's like vines going through the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. I wonder what's upstairs. <laughs> oh, man. Shall we go up? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, guys, so we're on our way home. And we saw this abandoned mansion. Dude, there's like... Drawings on the wall. I think someone's living here. Hola. Hola. The door is moving. Yeah, there's a door up there. Are you coming up? What the? Oh! What the? Oh 
Oh my god. What the? Look at the wall. Look at the wall. What the hell? It's the devil. Oh man. Oh my god. Dude, this is the most terrifying house I've ever found out here. What? What the hell is that? Uh, that kind of looks like, kind of like Hitler. I don't know what this looks like though, this is the devil. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, holy wasps. <laughs> yeah, who the heck drew all this though? Dude, this house might have been used for voodoo. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. He's holding a knife. Okay. What a... What a terrifying... Oh, look, there's a snake here. Bro, all these are... It means something. Somebody was yeah. doing voodoo in here at one point. What the hell, guys? I've never seen anything like this. Two dead dogs down below. Picture of Satan himself up here. I already looked in there. Thought there might be somebody or something in there. Well, no one's living in here, that's for sure. Hey, Alex. <laughs> What's up? Huh? At least not right now. Yeah. Someone's definitely doing voodoo in this house. Yeah. They've sacrificed two dogs, which are downstairs. I don't think there's anything. Oh, something just attacked my ear. Attacked by bees. Woo! Really? <laughs> yeah. Something. Something. something flew into my ear. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. God damn. Came out of nowhere. Let's go into this room. I haven't been into this one just yet. Oh wow, look at this. There's like this tree that just says, I don't know what it says. There's random bathrooms. What a terrifying place. I think that's pretty much it though. Yo, do you hear somebody yelling? That was freaking disgusting. I've never seen anything like that. What's that in the other room? All right, we just found another abandoned spot. We're trying to get out of this community, but it's hard because the main road is closed for some reason. So we've been taking all these like side roads and we're just finding so much abandoned. Like earlier we found the boats, then we found that one house. Huh? House. What? We found Alex house. Yeah, there you go, Alex. Free house for you. It's a fixer upper. Look at that. Dude, whoever used to live here had the best view ever. Yeah, no kidding, wow. I'm gonna go upstairs and see if there's a way up there. Hello, anyone home? Just casually walk into somebody's house. I don't see a staircase, I think it's broken. Yeah. Well, that's the kitchen there. Dude, look at this view. <whistles> Holy moly, wow. Now that's the view, boys. Imagine like you had this view and you're just looking at all this beautiful bay. Well, we were down that way where the ocean is. Yeah, seriously, what happened to this place? Hey, the kitchen's still intact. Is it? Sort of. I'm sure it was a nice kitchen at one point in time, but there's no staircase going up. No, Where? Right there. <laughs> you clickbaiter. All right, so I can't find a staircase going up. It's non-existent. I know the one this, this way I see you. What did the real estate guy tell you? Which one? The real estate guy. He's at two levels, which there <laughs> is, but there's no staircase. Uh, we're trying to buy uh, Alex a house, but... <laughs> we're gonna 
gonna come fix them. Don't yeah, worry. No, they, they said it's a fixer upper. <laughs> we got a roadblock over here. We got a roadblock. We got a beef roadblock. <laughs> roadblock of beef. Hello, Mr. Beef Man. Nope. He's the beef trainer. He's the beef trainer. <laughs> it smells like beef out here, too. It smells so good. Someone's barbecuing something. <laughs> he's, he's bringing them straight to the barbecue. Yeah. All the cows are like, wait a second. What's this smell? We know it. That smells like Cousin Benny. Mm. They start feeding the steak. 